I just tried to film this haul and it just it wasn't working out for me how I wanted it to so we're just gonna try it all again yeah if you guys are new here basically I do basically I do bath product videos um, demos things like that the first thing that I did receive is actually a baked Alaska soap sample which I did already open and it smells really good um, this is what the little sample looks like. It's so cute. I wonder if samples is just like extra product, maybe. It smells so good. I did order one of these um, for the Boxing Day online sales, which should be coming soon. So look out for a Boxing Day sales video. It smells very citrusy, and I'm going to try it in the shell. It's very soft, like almost sticky sort of. But it smells really good and I can't wait to try out that soap so I'm gonna start with bath bombs I got three bath bombs the first one is the marshmallow world bath bomb marshmallow world sweet pink vanilla soaks um, let's have a look at the ingredients granulated sugar perfume vanilla absolute clary sage oil lavender oil Icing sugar, that's weird. Marshmallow root powder, and just some other, other little things, but that's mainly like, yeah. So it sounds like it will smell quite sweet, maybe a bit musky, floral. It smells very sweet. It smells like, to me, it smells like a toned down version of Snow Fairy, which I like Snow Fairy, but it's like not my favorite, favorite scent from Lush. It's um, not a very strong scent either, but I feel like it's going to be really nice in the bath. So this is what this bath bomb looks like. The next bath bomb I've been meaning to try for ages, and it's the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. Oh, this one says Lush on the bottom, the other one didn't. But basically it's got like a little rose at the top. I don't think it's a real rose. Or is it a real rose? Let's have a look. Sex Bomb Central Pink Jasmine Soaks. So here's what it looks like. It's got like a little rose on top. It's pink and purple. Some of the ingredient, ingredients are Jasmine Absolute, Clary Sage Oil, Ylang Ylang Oil, and like obviously the stuff to make the bath bomb out of. Ooh. Yeah, it smells quite floral. But like a sweet floral, floral leaf scent. So I'm gonna enjoy this one. I'm um, also look out for demos. Look out for demos of these because I'll probably make them soonish. This one smells really nice. Very florally, florally. And yeah, it's so cute. The next bath bomb I got. Ah, oh, so I got this bath bomb because of purple pink red she recommended this bath bomb on one of her live uh, youtube streams um, this is the goddess bath bomb oh okay so here's what it looks like it's very powdery but it's got this little dip that's what the bottom looks like oh it's getting everywhere Basically, yeah, this is what the goddess bath bomb looks like. Let's read about it. The seductive, seductive and jasmine soaks. So it has jasmine absolute in it, rose oil, sandalwood oil. I don't know what that word is. Fair trade organic cocoa butter, water, argan oil, shea butter. Got some butters in here. To me, to me, I can smell the jasmine in there, but it's not really strong. Like it's a very subtle sort of smell. Um, yeah, I really can't smell much with this one, but I reckon it's gonna be so pretty in the bath. It's glittery. I cannot wait to do a demo on this bath bomb. I have purple all over my fingers great so yeah if you don't like glittery bath bombs then probably goddess you might not like it 
does have glitter in it. So next I got a shower bomb and this is the sleepy shower bomb. Basically I bought this because Ooh, it all like sort of crumbled at the bottom, but I bought this because because when me, my sisters and my mum went into Lush um, for Boxing Day, my sister got a little gift set and it had this in it and I was like, that smells so good. So, yeah, it smells like, it smells like sleepy, a bit sweeter though, where's... Sleepy Serenally Soothing Shower Soap. What ingredients have we got in here? Lavender oil, Tonka Absolute, Ylang Ylang, Fine Oatmeal. Yeah, so it's basically just like the sleepy. Look at my brightness. What is happening with my brightness? So basically, it's just like the sleepy set. So. It smells so good. I can't wait to use this in the shower. Um, oh, I can't. It smells so good. But yeah, it's basically the sleepy scent. It's, everything's getting everywhere. And then I got a shower oil, which when I bought my first shower oil, which was the Mini Masoma. Is that how you say it? Um, I thought they were a lot bigger than this, but even when I went in store, I was like, what? So this is the Coco Loco shower oil. Looks like this. Oh yeah, that smells like, oh my god, it's melting. Yeah, that smells like coconut. Like, it smells like coconut flakes. It smells so good. Let's have a look. What ingredients? So, Coco Loco, sweet tropical coconut. So it's got organic cocoa butter, coconut oil, Coconut flour, coconut cream, Brazilian orange oil, coriander seed oil. So yeah. Yeah, it just smells like coconut flakes. It smells really good. I don't smell any coriander or citrus really. It just smells like coconut flakes. Oh! But yeah, it just smells like coconut flakes and I'm super excited to try that one out. I love the mini Masoma one, so I wanted to try this one. Next, I got three shower gels. Um, so this first one I tried a sample of, and it literally smells like honey. It's so weird. So yeah, I have tried a sample of this one um, that they sent in one of my other orders, and literally it smells like sweet honey. Like, it's so nice. So if you like honey sweet scents, I reckon you'd really like this. Like, I've never smelled something that smells so much like honey. So it says, honey, I wash the kids. Um, shower gel, God bless Mother Nature for giving us all the honey and exotic flowers with. We've squeezed into this bottle sweet softening gel for honey scented hair and skin. So, yeah. Yeah. This smells like sweet honey. It's such a nice scent. It's like more of a heavy sort of sweet scent. Says, cleanse your body with heady patchouli and refreshing orange oil. Chill out with Lush's most iconic fine fragrance. So let's give it a smell. Ooh. Yeah. It does. It smells like citrus. Not a super strong citrus. It's kind of subtle to me. I think I have a problem with my nose. What are some of the ingredients? Lemongrass infusion, fresh orange juice, patchouli oil, Brazilian orange oil. Yeah, so it does smell very um, citrusy. This is a really nice one. I cannot wait to try this out in the shower. And then the last shower gel I bought was Happy Hippie. So I don't know if I'm going to like this one. So this one is, this one says, a breakfast boost for your body full of grapefruit goodness to awaken your skin and enliven your mind. So... A citrusy squeeze of fresh grapefruit juice will put a zing into your day and a spring in your step. So yeah, it basically it's just like a citrusy shower gel. Oh 
Oh yeah, I can smell the grapefruit in this one. It's not very... I can't really smell much of it in the bottle, but... Yeah, it's a citrusy sort of shower gel. And then the last three things I have are all soaps. So, this is the first one I'm going to open. Um, this is the Outback Mate Soap. When I tried the Snowball... Oh, this is really pretty. When I tried the Snowball Bath Bomb from the 2021 um, Christmas range, I really like the scent, and apparently it's in this scent. So, this is what the little bar looks like. So, it says the last on the side. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but... Oh, a bit of soap fell on me. Oh, yeah. This smells so good. And it's so pretty. It reminds me of the ocean. Sorry, it smells minty. You can definitely smell mint in it, but it's like a sweet, minty sort of smell. So, tingly mint and eucalyptus. So, the ingredients say it's got eucalyptus infusion, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, glycerin, extra virgin coconut oil. My hand just shakes so much. Eucalyptus oil, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil. So, yeah. It smells very fresh. I think I'm going to use this soap tonight. It, is, it looks so pretty and it smells so good. Like a sweet peppermint sort of smell. And I didn't think I'd like this. Like when I bought the Snowball bath bomb, I didn't think I was going to like it. But it's seriously, this smells so good. You definitely need to at least give it a smell. Like if you can go into Lush and give it a smell, I would definitely give it a smell. So the next soap we have, I don't know which soap this is. Is this the Sultana of soap? Yes, so you got. So this is the Sultana. This is the Sultana of Soap. Um, just got like. Does it have actual Sultanas in it? Oh, this one smells very fresh. It doesn't really smell like anything, just like clean. So, Sultana of Soap, moisturizing creamy suds. So some of the ingredients are rapeseed oil, coconut oil, perfume, dried currants, dried apricots, dried cranberries, bergamot oil. And yeah, so it's just like a really moisturizing, sounds just like a really moisturizing, simple sort of soap. Because it really doesn't really smell like much. It just smells clean and it smells, and it feels very creamy, like it smells seems very creamy so i'm excited to give that one a go the last thing in the haul is this soap this is the bohemian soap i believe this is meant to smell lemony Ooh, it looks so pretty right so here's what the soap looks like it's got little pink bits in it i don't know if they're supposed to be in there but super cute does it say lush anywhere on it, it doesn't have lush written on it anywhere i don't believe Ooh, okay so Bohemian, simple, gentle lemon wash. So ingredients, it's got a small ingredients list actually, um, compared to the others. So rapeseed oil, coconut oil, water, glycerin, lemon oil, and perfume. So it's pretty much just like a lemony soap. If you guys like lemony soaps, give this one a go. It smells like, it smells like a lemon almost like lemon sherbet or something and it's super pretty i cannot wait to use this soap that smells so nice that was it for today's lush haul i hope you guys enjoyed it um stay tuned for um an online boxing day haul i got quite a few things from there and also i'll have another haul after that coming up um so yeah definitely stay tuned for those hauls um i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is my first video sort of on camera doing a haul um so if you guys did enjoy it i'd really appreciate feedback and all that good stuff um just so i can improve for you guys um and yeah thank you so much for watching this haul um and let me know if you guys have any of these products let me know what you think of them down below um because i am quite interested i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.